not just construction going on with the stands at Zephyr Field, but with the team itself. Greg Norton back for his first full year as the Zephyrs manager after taking over for Edwin Rodriguez in the middle of last season. It's his job to piece together a winning lineup. And what does he have to work with? Energy and pitching. So uh, yeah, I, I think that uh, we're breaking camp with a bunch of guys that play hard, um, are versatile, and uh, with the pitching staff that, uh, at least for my first year last year, is, is has some superior stuff to, to last year's guys and, and, and will battle. Describe Greg Norton as a manager. Unknown right now. I, 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 it's, it, with me, it's all or nothing. I'm either pretty passive or I'm really mad, <laughs> um, which I don't know if that's a good you know, characteristic to have as manager. But you know, my, my whole thing is uh, I like guys to be able to do things that I couldn't do play defense and run. His starting catcher may not be able to run so well, but the guy can play defense. Really just looking forward to the season and you know we've been in spring training now for you know 50 something days and you know you try to make it as competitive as you can but you know it's never the same of when it really does matter whether you win or lose. So I'm really excited to you know start playing this game a little bit more emotion. One of the talented young arms Davis will be calling signals for is right hander Tom Kohler. Here's what fans can look for when the 6'4 flamethrower is on the mound. I throw three types of fastballs, four seam, two seam, and a cutter. Uh, a hard curveball and a changeup. Kind of throw anything in, in any count. I guess if I'm looking for the strikeout, I'm probably going to go to the curveball. Kohler was outstanding on the mound last season, helping Jacksonville to the Southern League Championship with a 16-2 record. But let's just say pitching isn't his only talent. I've done that before and I've never actually gotten on the screen. So I was sitting next to Eli and he's like, hey, the spotlight's on you, you got to get it now. And then I start dancing and the crowd kind of got into it and then the guys got into it and, you know, something like that. If, if we could start off having fun on the first day where we're not really, really don't know each other all that well, it's pretty exciting. I mean, chances are we're going to have some fun then. There is your winner. Describe some of the moves, or if you would, please demonstrate just a little bit for us. Um, you know, we had we had some popping and locking. You know, we were hitting them with the little OK look, you know, a little Harlem shake, you know, a little wave. And I'm not going to give too much away in case I have to do it again. I don't want I don't want people on TV taking notes and stealing my secrets. Yeah, but what was the what was the winning blow though? Uh, the winning move. I think it was my purple shirt. <laughs> or the glasses. Yeah, I think I think because I look so in, in intellectual, but then they saw the moves. They're like, wow, this guy. Is, Real renaissance man right there. <laughs>